It was the first time for everything, isn't it? Uh, we parked for the night and Jamie was sitting up here in the cab, you know, looking at stuff on his phone and I was in the back just getting everything ready you know, for the night. Anyway, this morning, we've come to drive to the waterfront of where we're parked. And what happened, honey? The, the, show batteries, the battery's dead. So what did you do? I guess I left, I left the headlights on. That's what it was. But that's really weird because when it took the key out of the ignition, it usually warns you that the headlights are on. Well, hopefully that's all the problem is. While we sit here waiting for BCAA to come and give us a boost, Jamie continues to make our coffee. They're saying uh, probably within an hour from the time we called, so let's wait and see what time they get here. Planned for a quiet morning by the lake. Now instead, we're enjoying a drive along the Okanagan Valley. Gertie got her boost. Uh, we had a situation here with <laughs> the battery, so we needed a battery uh, boost. Uh, called our CAA number, and within an hour, um, BCAA was there to help us. We learned a few things from the gentleman that was here to help us and uh, so now we're on a road trip driving to give Gertie a uh, battery charge. That's what he advised us to do. What Josh suggested was make sure you go for a good 30 to 60 minute drive between 80 to 100 kilometers an hour so you can get that battery charged up and get the alternator charged up and sync to it. Keep all of your electronics off like your radio, any fans, any switches, keep everything off so as to get the batteries 100% chance of getting charged up fully. For the amount of money it costs to have the CAA membership, it's worth every penny uh, even though we have to pay the RV membership because we are like an RV um, it's worth having that peace of mind and plus if we ever do break down 
with the RV membership, they'll all send a flatbed because it's the only thing that can transport a Sprinter van safely. So change of plans had us taking the drive to Kelowna. Best of the drive to charge the batteries up, so we came to Mech to pick up our butane stove. Yeah. We decided to pick up a butane stove because it's a good backup, and because especially on those days when it's cloudy and we haven't been able to charge up the batteries properly, it's a good way to cook because you really need your batteries for your heat if you're in that situation. After spending some time along the waterfront in West Kelowna, we decided to make our way back and found ourselves at the Okanagan Lake Provincial Park for the night. Not a bad campsite for $13 a night. Try a new butane stove. Get to do some outdoor cooking. Not the cover. Make sure the feet are level. Not the gas canister. Slide it in. Make sure that little lever's down. Close her up. Push down the lock. And then push in. And she's working. There we go. It's gonna boil some water here we can make some soup. So that's on high right now. Flame should be blue with a hint of yellow on the tip it says. Make a little bit more liquid for the leftover soup we had, so I'm just putting in some broth concentrate here. And we'll just add the defrosted soup, throw in some spinach, and got some brown basmati rice there. Time to add rice. It's gonna be a feast. I 
don't have the proper ladle. <laughs> I forgot it. Perfect soup. I'm enjoying my new toy. Look what I bought. A day that started out with a bit of a glitch led us on a wonderful drive embracing the forks in the road. What was to be a one night stay turned into three nights. C'est la vie. We really appreciate you spending this time with us. Please remember to hit the subscribe, share and like buttons. Thank you for watching.